it's in my blood. I, I we've had cattle since we got married, and and uh, you know my grandfather started in 1942, and we got the last three heifers from his herd, and just kind of moved on from there, and and uh, it's it's just. I've never wanted to do anything else. Aaron and Shana Strummond, ranch near Fort Rice. The couple has been raising cattle since 2001. To say the least, they didn't have to do anything fancy or change their way of life to be featured on this TV program. They really captured what is most important to our family, um, being able to raise our kids around these cattle, being able to raise cattle. Um, starting from scratch, uh, we feel very blessed for the opportunities that we've been given in this life and in North Dakota, and we couldn't imagine our lives any other way. While ranching is a business, it's a way of life. Other than the cattle themselves and just the pure enjoyment of working with them and working with nature and taking care of the land and natural resources, I love the people that are involved in the cattle industry. I just think you can't find better, more salt of the earth people than those in the cattle industry. The Strummans agree, family is the biggest reason they're in the business. At three months of age, he was diagnosed with morose and deficient congenital muscular dystrophy. And basically what that is, um, his body doesn't produce this muscle um, protein called morosin, which isn't responsible for encapsulating your cells. Doctors have told us that he, on any given day, has as much breakdown in his little body as somebody who's just run a marathon. When our son Clint was seven days old, we had to fly him to Minneapolis, eight hours away from our ranch. And we had a great support system in our family um, to take care of our two older kids, but it was our ranching friends that took care of the business back home. And um, it really meant a lot for that. As for the future, the Strummans have no plans of slowing down. Aaron says expanding and moving forward are the goals on the horizon. We're in this thing for our kids and, mm -hmm. and hopefully uh, the next generation, uh, our kids want to uh, take over and do what we're doing. And, and um, I mean, that's, that's why we're doing this. There's so many values that you can teach your kids. Near Fort Rice um, for KX News, I'm Sarah Gustin. Don't stop until the job is done. I think that's a great